my pushback would be what how is that also not distracting like what what if that distracts the students from what the professor or whatever's going on in the class at that time you know or the question or group activity whatever you know whatever it may be yeah oh it is i i will not <laughs> deny that the back channeling is what i would call structured distraction you know okay. like one of the things that i think is important about back channeling is unless you have no digital tools in your classroom and even then uh, you you can't divorce you cannot separate students from each other and so like before we, we we know this before technology in the classroom like what did you do you if you wanted to send something or say something to somebody you had to like try and whisper it so the teacher didn't hear you had to write a physical note and like throw it to their desk while the teacher's back was turned like yeah. Kids were still doing, learners were still doing things to talk to one another okay. while instruction was happening. It just wasn't digital. It was harder to do. The quantity was less. Um, I think in a traditional classroom, I, I do think that back channeling is a, is a, a tool to be measured and, and to okay. be watched for because it can be distinctly uh, um, distracting. But like, one of the things that I mentioned already and that should be a, a potential benefit out of it is, okay, if I'm hot, but I'm willing to suffer it because I, I'm hot. Oh, but if I know that you're hot. You're hot okay, sorry. You're, I, was like, I was like, Temperature. temperature somebody, yeah. Somebody's full of himself on the high tech podcast today. 